what I'm trying to do here is just to remove some of the confusion involved with adding a simple pressure switch to control our compressor through a magnetic relay which will control the power. Um, for example, the instructions for this particular uh, uh, magnetic relay are as follows. Uh, attention, for separate control, remove wire C and D if supplied and connect separate control lines to terminal number 96 on the overload relay and to terminal number 13 on the auxiliary contact block for three wire control or to the contactor coil number A1 for two wire control. You read that and you go, what does that mean? Bottom line, on this particular device, I didn't have to remove any wires because they weren't supplied and all I had to do was to put uh, the uh, pressure switch lines and run it between uh, 1 and A1 and that allowed me to control the function of the magnetic starter cutting on and off. Um, the video ahead will uh, demonstrate how I went about doing this. It's pretty simple. Well, here's an old compressor I picked up and here was the original problem, other than the, the motor needed to be rebuilt. But the pressure switch, see the contact points were burnt up. But I checked, and this is a very, uh, this is for nothing larger than uh, like one horsepower. So here's the replacement switch, and it's rated much higher. And it did, or started doing the same thing, and quit switching. Um, spoke with some people. They said, what you need to do is to get a uh, starter for this thing. A magnetic starter. So, that's what we're going to do. Repl I'm going to replace the pressure switch. Got a new pressure switch. And it's actually low rated like the original. But this is going to take care of the uh, startup of the motor. This is basically a big magnetic relay. And the, the relay will handle all the high voltage. This won't be handling the high voltage anymore. So what I'm going to show is how to wire one of these things. It's not terribly difficult, but the instructions that come with this can be kind of confusing. Uh, I'll get in detail on this particular one. This is made by WEG. Um, and basically, we're going to have our two hot wires coming in here to L1. And L2, our motor wires will be coming, the wires going to our motor will be on T1 and T2. But to control the start and stop of this thing, we're going to wire a new pressure switch into this. And it gets wired T1, excuse me, L1 and a1 down here. So what that does, that allows switching. So when this reaches the right power, the contacts come together and it allows the power to go through this and allows the magnetic relay to switch, to pull up, which allows the power to go through. So I'll show you how we're going to wire that up and take care of this little problem. Okay, start the wiring, and this is how we wire our motor in. This will be, the power's coming in here and out to our motor. This is a five horsepower motor. Uh, the uh, the uh, high amp side on it, I believe is close to 24. So I've heard you do I don't know, 10% or something over that. So, on this particular one, you set your amps 
here. So I've gone ahead and set this uh, thermal overload to 28 amps. That's what this circuit does. This is your switch, and this switch runs through the thermal overload. Should things get bad, overheat, whatever, it trips here and cuts the power off to it. Okay, anyway, our motor comes in. And we've wired the T1 and T3 and to a ground block. The pressure switch. And just for convenience, the, these, this, uh, some Romex already had. For convenience, I ran both wires over here to this side and went ahead and grounded it. Wire color, remember, it doesn't matter all this is doing. In fact, ideally, these would be the same color wire because they are going to complete the circuit on this box. It'll make sense when we start connecting this to the box. Now we wire our pressure switch in to our magnetic starter. Remember, these two wires, they are not so much supplying power as they are completing a circuit. So when, get it where, when the contacts are off, the circuit is not completed for the magnetic starter. But as soon as comes on and that closes, it allows here to here and here, and it closes this magnetic switch that allows the power to come through. So according to their instructions, we are doing what is called a two-wire control, that right there like for a pressure switch. And it says to connect um, A1, run wires to A1 and one to whatever our uh, external control is. That's our pressure switch. So, A1 and one. So now, when the, again, when this switch comes on, it completes the circuit here. The relay closes and it allows the power that's coming in here to go through to here, which in turn will go to our motor. So let's connect our main power. Here's our power in. There are the large wires, so Large black 110 goes to L2, it's right here. Large white 110 goes to L1 and it's grounded on the grounding block there. So now we're ready to fire this thing up. Again, the key is this. It trips, it, it completes the circuit. And here's the unit all buttoned up and put back together.